The business of growing cannabis in the UK is largely seen as a murky underground operation. But hidden in the hills near Dumfries, a greenhouse measuring almost three acres will soon change that perception. This site looks set to be the first medicinal cannabis farm in Scotland and the first in the UK to sell a prescription product domestically. The men behind this pioneering project hope it will help those who use the drug here in the UK. So right now there are around 5,000 patients in the UK market who are all reliant on imported products um, from Canada, Israel, Holland particularly. Um, at the moment there is no domestic offering. By being able to produce these products in this country will make the supply chain somewhat easier. What we have here will be something that will have UK standards under MHRA to meet our own regulation and people will be able to be confident that what they're getting meets the UK health standards that we expect from all pharmaceutical products that we use and consume in this country. The medicinal cannabis industry didn't exist in the UK before November 2018. That's when the UK government changed the law, allowing for prescriptions in limited circumstances like epilepsy. Since then, the industry has grown exponentially and it's estimated it could be worth £2.3 billion by 2024, with this facility at the forefront of that push. This greenhouse measures 11,000 square metres and the temperature in here is just below 40 degrees. When it's fully operational, it will have the capacity to provide 16 tonnes of medicinal cannabis every year. At the moment, that's enough to supply the entire German market. Because of that, security is tight. We're not allowed to broadcast its exact location, but can say the company hopes to employ people from the local area jobs in the rural community have diminished drastically over the last decade. With mechanisation and everything else, farming is not what it used to be. And we are hoping that we will bring 60 to 80 jobs into this local area. And the job skills are very transferable from what was in this area already. And the eye to detail and the, job, uh, the jobs that they used to do in the mills are very similar to the jobs that they'll need to do in the glasshouse. So you need to grind up the product. Mark is a legal cannabis user living in Carlisle. He uses the drug to relieve pain caused by degenerative arthritis, but it's extremely difficult to get on the NHS, forcing many patients to use private health services. Mark hopes this new cannabis farm will help make the drug more accessible. Well, hopefully the prices should drop dramatically. Currently, prices are reasonably high. If it's UK produced, there shouldn't be any importation charges therein. And the end user, the, the, the um, patient, should be able to afford it at a much reduced price. The company behind this mammoth facility will soon submit a licensing application to the UK Home Office. They hope to be growing their first commercial product later this year. But for now, the seed is set for this new and emerging industry to continue to grow. Lewis Warner, ITV News.